Okay, dear brother, and I wanted to show you really quickly how to take care of lacerations, cuts, etc. Just basic wound care. I'm going to be publishing this publicly, so this is just a disclaimer saying I'm not a doctor and for people to do their own research. Uh, just some legal uh, words that um, we don't have to worry about here between uh, us in the mission. Amen. Uh, that's a knife I used, uh, the uh, machete that I cut myself on. And uh, you can see here that uh, I got really deep on that one finger. It was bleeding profusely. That was about four minutes after it happened. So I'm going to show you, brethren, in some short videos how I went from that to that. And then uh, the wounds have started to really heal already just in the first 24 hours. So you can see that first one, the pinky finger on the left, how it's already closed up. It's so important, brethren, that after you let it bleed out, you put hydrogen peroxide on it. Here you see a butterfly bandage that I just got at the store today. Um, using petroleum jelly too to keep the bandage, uh, I mean to keep the um, uh, wound site uh, moist. There's my pointer finger. Um, you can see that's all closed up already. So hydrogen peroxide just the first day. And then I also, uh, after you flush it out there, let it bleed a little bit. And then come back with hydrogen peroxide, flush it out three or four times, make sure it's clean, open the wound a little bit. Might hurt a bit, but uh, it's certainly worth it. That's the most important time. You can even see that that um, middle finger there is closed up too. And then uh, here you go. So uh, enjoy these next videos. Okay, as you can see, brother, and I'm cleaning my bandages, as you saw from the um, from the pictures. You can see already this one's even closing up from yesterday. Amen. And I did my first figure there, and this one. This one's the worst one. I'll take some pictures of that. But see how you want it to stay closed. Be very careful. I'm cleaning it with alcohol now, and I'll follow up in a little bit. Amen. The next step is to put these wound closures on, brother. I'm cutting them up into little pieces. Okay. So just depending on how big the wound is, amen? You want to put them on one side, pull them down, and let them suck the other side up, amen? So you have a wound closure to keep those things tight. And then I just put a yellow Band-Aid over it to keep it uh, all the elements out, the air and stuff like that. I'm also using petroleum jelly, very, very inexpensive. You put that little bit on the wound, and I also put on the pad of the, um, of the uh, I don't have it here, of the Band-Aid, uh, you know, the plastic bandage on the white part, I put collodial silver that I made here. Amen. So as you can see here, brother, and I'm just taking a very clean paper towel and I'm going to just drip the collodial silver in that pad without touching it with my hand. Now I wash my hands and everything with rubbing alcohol. Amen. You only use the peroxide once to clean your wound, but after that, use the alcohol. Then get your collodial silver that you make and put that on there, okay? This was the worst finger, brother, and as you can see, it's closed up, praise the Lord. I've lost a little feeling at the tip of it, but hopefully that'll come back. I don't think I ruined the, the um, ligament because I can bend the top of it a little bit. It's the one that's most in pain. It's the one I got the deepest. But uh, you want to also put a few drops of collodial silver in there, then clean very gingerly around it with the alcohol and then put on those strips okay guys so because this is bending a little bit I got a very simple finger splint but before that what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of these um, things right here and I'm going to try to pull this back so I'm going to go maybe even up to the nail and I'm going to go like this I've got to very easily without um, ruining that wound and I'm going to pull that down as best I can without opening that up. So I'm going to go as much as I can go for now and push it. See? I've almost brought that, but I don't want to open that wound. I've got to be careful. So that's going to keep that a little bit in check, right? So now I've got to push this wound back together. So I've cut these just the right size. So again, be very ginger. And so now I have my makeshift um, uh, stitches, right? The butterfly bandages. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on one side of it almost to the end and I'm going to stick it right there. Listen, and I'm going to pull it down. You see how that pulled it together? I'm going to pull it down and then I'm going to come on this side and then go down and let it come up. Ooh, that hurts. <laughs> That's the hardest one. I'll do one more for you guys. So again, I'm just going to 
bring this off of here. I didn't cut this. Hold on. Um, just keep the camera up. Okay, guys. Sorry about that. I'm going to bring the next one over. Okay. And this one maybe. No, I'm going to start up top. And I'm going to bring this one over here again. Oh, there we go. I'm going to push down really hard. And then I'm going to push it. I'm going to bring it down and then up. And let that bottom one pull. See, now we're completely closed. Amen? Completely closed. So that's closed up. Now, what I'm going to do is get a very clean knife. And then I also clean it off with the alcohol every time just to make sure. And I'm going right in the corner where I've never touched before. And I'm going to put a little bit of um, petroleum jelly on there, guys, because you want to keep this moist it's very important to keep these moist now you saw before how i put the the collodial silver on the bandage so i want to get the bandage as close as i can to that wound right so i get the bandage on the wound and i put it over and that's it brethren so now we've done all four of them thanks for the prayers i hope this helps you out with kind of basic first aid but that's how you um close a wound you want to do butterfly bandages Amen. Pull it together. Clean it out first with hydrogen peroxide. Then you go with your alcohol very gently around it. Put some petroleum jelly. Uh, but for, uh, yeah, but first you can put the butterfly bandages, then the petroleum jelly. To keep the wound moist for optimal healing. I even wrap this with another band-aid. I'm not sure. All right. Finally, brethren, as you can see, I put that splint on. It's a very cheap splint, but that's going to see how straight my finger is now. So that was the one I was worried about. You know, most. We put the butterfly bandage to bring it back a little bit, but now I just put a splint on there. So, other than that, looks like we're off to healing. It was amazing that those things stayed closed, you know, the first time. The first time is the most important, guys, when you get cut. Let it bleed out for two or three minutes, as long as you're not profusely bleeding, as long as you're not bleeding like in a main artery. In the, I mean, if you're spitting out blood, you know, you have to stop it immediately and put a tourniquet on. But if it's a cut on one of your extremities, let it bleed out a little bit to clean it then the hydrogen peroxide, and then go through the things that I just went through. And God bless you all. I wanted to add this quick note at the end. If there's constant pain, even like uh, hours or even a day after, or dismemberment, you know, somebody cuts a finger off or loss of motion, please go see a doctor. Please visit us at globalmissionforchildren.org. That's globalmissionforchildren.org.